So here's Doom 2016 with the latest patch. That'd be the new patch four that was released yesterday. It was uh, depending on what system, between eight or er, twelve to twenty gigabytes of space. So that brings Doom 2016 with all of its install and patches up to almost a hundred gigabytes of space. Kind of funny considering Doom in 1993 was twelve megabytes. See, as games get bigger and better, and uh, technology as well, how much things exponentially grow, and. Uh, 20, 30 years. So, on to it anyway. Um, the, the new patch 4 is awesome. It brings all these beautiful new features to snap map, multiplay, corrections to single play issues and stuff like that. They are really pumping out some, some, some stuff, some content that is just making this incredible well-rounded package. About the only thing I could think at this point that they, that they could still add before saying, hey, we don't have anything left to add. Is they? I don't even know if it's possible, but like single play co-op campaign. I don't know if the if the single play engine or the engine limits, you know, would have issues with that. And maybe uh, free for all or team deathmatch, uh, uh, unlimited carry mode. You know, no loadouts, just carry all weapons like classic Doom. I think those are the biggest two things people are asking for. And those were to be in some final patch somewhere down the road i think uh, this would be a complete well-rounded just perfect package that gets a lot of value and a lot of life out of it so and i mean they're certainly getting a lot of life out of these free patches so anyway there are some new modes in multiplayer we're going to skip that that uh, free patch four added in and a bunch of new stuff some you know, minor enhancement. There is an arcade mode under campaign, which is awesome. You know, you're competing with others to get the highest score. Not co-op, but you see a scoreboard, and uh, there's all sorts of um, enhancements for this arcade mode uh, to see who can get the highest scores and times and stuff like that. But what I want to focus on right now is this uh, these new snap map content, and we'll go ahead and click on that. And so you see the new interface for snap map and all this coming soon official id Bethesda stuff. Zenimax, I'm sorry, Zenimax id stuff. Um, and the new snap map, they just added just boatloads of new modules and continents and features and scripts for Doom 2016 maps and co-op levels. Uh, but they also added in something new, which you can now do classic Doom campaign snap maps. You can uh, create co-op classic Doom. Uh, you can do multiplayer classic Doom. You know, whatever snap map features there. And this right here is the first three levels of the original Doom um, done in Snap Map, which differs significantly from the classic maps done in Doom 2016, the ones that you unlock going through the single play mode. Uh, those were just very basic, um, just uh, really not much thought to them sort of thing, I think. Uh, and they really are showing that, hey, in the Snap Map version, we're going to do the Doom campaign and we're doing it, you know, we're doing it down to a tease, and they are showing you how the modules work, but they're showing how how awesome it can be to build these almost you know near identical snap uh, classic maps. And they're also giving their own twist on these classic maps. So when you load these up, and uh, the monsters have more classic sound effects, and the levels look more classic, and they're mixing in a couple cool features. But they're showing you that, you know, uh, in, in some areas that you used to think, you know, you, how it was set up originally, they, they've added or expanded that or added, you know, made it slightly different to give it a new twist or uh, basically a remix of that level. And it works incredibly well. Now, the really cool thing about this classic Doom co-op, we'll go ahead and click it. You'll see the map info. This is an official id uh, map for Snap Map no author it was included with the patch and we'll start the mission so the immediate thing you're going to notice here and you, most of you guys are going to bust out laughing uh, if you guys remember uh, just a few weeks ago i sent a box of a few things i wanted signed from id software and uh, to put in my display case and to my surprise when they sent it back not only did they sign more than what i expected they sent a ton of extras, and I got a even a, a, a personalized note from Marty Stratton, who was the executive producer of the new Doom. He works; he's been with ID Software for a very long time, telling me how impressed the team was with my uh, display case and my tribute here to them, and uh, that they were honored that I had uh, built that. So when I loaded up this classic map, this is kind of a a parody intro that uh, you can immediately exit skip the room 
But you immediately notice, you immediately notice that it's somebody's room. <laughs> it's a big empty, basically empty room other than the computer station down there. And yeah, there's a bunk bed there, okay. And uh, there's a giant desk there with a giant monitor on it and just a chair and big ass computer over here. And just to the side of that, <laughs> it's a display case full of all id software and Zenimax Bethesda games. There it is right there, the Ed Anthology, Dishonored, Prey, Fallout 4. You know, there's Skyrim and stuff up there, too, which I do have as well. Uh, I just don't have them in my display case. But you see, a lot of the stuff in my display case is also showing up there as a <laughs> rather humorous Doom poster on the wall. But, uh, so I immediately thought, hmm, I got this note from them, and that was, you know, they were probably working on this patch within that time, you know, obviously within that time frame. So, you know, it could, it, I'm entirely just, you know, I'm just guessing here. It's probably just a coincidence, but it seems almost like a shout out, like a, like a fist bump or a nod to, uh, to all of us out there with display cases and collections and, you know, have been fans through the eras and, you know, have embraced Bethesda and Zenimax as well uh, because they also do some phenomenal work with their games. I mean, their games are masterpieces too. Every game that Zenimax or id Software or Bethesda puts out is an absolute masterpiece. And to see them honor that, not just in writing in my case, but to even include this parody room here, this joke room here, you know, to see their past, present, and future, and, you know, th these guys, they know how much it means to all of us, and they, 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 you know, they certainly know how much it means to them. That's just amazing. So, it's, it's great to see that. I love this kind of stuff. If this is a shout-out to me and to the other guys, like, like the, the giant Doom collector, Mammoth Serral, if you guys think my impression, my, my collection is impressive, you guys should see Mammoth's. He's in Turkey. That guy... He focuses solely on Doom, whereas I focus on id Software. I do have a lot of Doom, but I focus on a lot of, you know, everything id Software. But he's just got a massive Doom collection. And he's in Turkey, so it's extremely hard for him to get this stuff. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't have the convenience of being here in the Canada or United States or UK. No, no. He, I, I, you know, I've actually talked to him about shipping stuff to him before. And what would cost a couple dollars here to ship cost three or four hundred dollars to ship to him so the, the the fact that this guy has amassed such a massive doom collection is at, at in such a difficult place is just mind-blowing to me so mama definitely gets mama definitely gets my rating as the you know the number one doom collector and then you have other guys too uh, there's a guy in uh texas uh dusty womack uh i know he had a phenomenal id software collection I'm not sure if he still collects or not. Um, then there's also, but if he does, I'm, I'm fairly certain that he does, I think. But he had just an amazing id Software collection that dwarfed mine. Then there's a, a guy in the UK, John Arnold. And there's, there's several others out there who, uh, who do collections, um, uh, very impressive collections. This is a shout out to all of us, I guess. And uh, we love it. We love it. Even if it's coincidence, we still love it. So what you can do here is you can you can exit the level, or you can uh, punch to pick up ultimate doom. <laughs> You'll pick up the the box there from the library. There we go. And they're just kind of showing you some of these new features and scripting that you can do in Snap Map. But uh, there we go. Punch box. I'll give you guys a quick run through of how much different these classic Snap Maps are, and how awesome they are. And then you can turn on the PC. Give me just a second here. I'm having a... What am I not doing right here? Oh, to punch to turn on PC. There we go. There we go. Punch to type stuff. Can of mac and cheese, or cheesy mac on the table. This is going to launch the old DOS uh, executable. There we go. Oh my gosh. Well, does that bring back memories? Of course, you can always still run it through DOSBox or uh, Chocolate Doom or whatnot. But uh, 
How many years I sat watching this boot up like this? Oh my goodness, what a throwback. <laughs> that intro screen, that is great. I love that. I don't know who did that, but that's incredible. Oh my gosh. So you can't really choose anything else, but you can cho choose a new game. And this will actually start the uh, game. So you start off with the uh, the DLC pistol, which is actually pretty awesome in itself. But you can see instantly uh, they've added in some glass effect. You know, they've they've revamped the classic snap the classic maps out of the co campaign just specifically for snap map. You're going to see they've corrected a lot of the issues people were complaining about, like misaligned textures, along with adding their own twist and uh, new areas and stuff like that. So let me just give a quick run through of this map. Not all the first three, but uh, we'll do just this one real quick. You know, now you can make your own maps like this. And, you know, this is more of a thing of Doom 2016, but if you notice the windows, the reflections, the water drip, you know, the moisture on it, everything, the Doom 2016 visual FX and arts team just did a fucking phenomenal job with this game. You know, I... I couldn't give those guys, but just incredible. Beautiful. Everything in this game, uh, the skybox, you know, the, the vistas, the planes, the outdoors, the levels, uh, all the effects. Just beautiful. Modeling, the textures, animations, just incredible. Let me go back here, because I can actually sneak outside and get the drop on them from outside. This is uh, using my classic, putting my classic Doom skills to good use here. Yeah, uh, all these modules that are here can now be used to make your own classic snap maps. You just notice that they've added a lot more classic effects too, especially with the enemies and whatnot. I better get out of there. Let me see here. Let me try to get a drop on them from the other side real quick. And they've, uh, it's not so noticeable in this classic snap map, but some of the others they've heightened up some of the rooms. So they feel a lot larger. Like E1M2, the area where you go outside, the uh, rooms are considerably higher. So it feels uh, much more, much more player to height ratio. The Toxin Refinery one, E1M3, they did an incredible job with the remaining of that. I think I'll do a later video where I run through all these in a little more detail, but this is just a quick, simple run through to show you just how far they're progressing with this. Out of ammo, that's never a good thing. I'll have to run back here and grab the... There we go. Get a spin on them. Alright, so we can run back here real quick. And you can see, they've 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 literally re redesigned some of this. And it's a... Uh, gives an interesting new twist. A fresh twist to Doom. Classic Doom in a way. Not so noticeable in this level, but uh, some of the later ones. Uh, E1M2 and E1M3, yes. There we go. There we go. Yes. Then this should be the exit. Of course, it's all simplified scripting and stuff. It's not as detailed as the classic Doom would be, but uh, for like, you know, just effects, just for the general snap map uh, design. But anyway, here's the uh, homage to the intermission screen. Of course, still feels pretty awesome seeing, you know, it's not the original interest, you know, uh, intermission screen, but it's still pretty awesome. And then, then you can now... <laughs> <laughs> you can see the buildings now. Uh, they're just kind of these little awkward looking blocky designs, but uh, that's awesome. The, the, these patches that they keep pushing out, this, you know, the, the free patches, uh, 
Um, yeah, they add a little stuff in the in the paid for DLC, but it's the free patches that they just keep pumping stuff out in. And so I'd love to see more of that. And I really hope that uh, and what by whatever final patch that they do that they've added in, maybe some single player, you know, campaign co op. Would love to see that and uh, free for all with uh, uh, all access weapons. Um, other than that, uh, I could I could only advise you guys, you know, hop on, give this new patch a try. It is amazing. It is a blast, and uh, I'll be doing a lot more videos later this week with some of the fellow Doomers here, and we'll probably run through these, plus a bunch of new uh, snap maps for uh, co-op and deathmatch, and some of the multiplayer modes as well. And I'd also like to do a run-through of the uh, arcade mode, uh, just because I've been having a blast playing that as well. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.